Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, we're going to talk about five things that go missing in Lightroom and how to get them back. This is going to be a relatively short video, and for those of you that are more experienced in Lightroom, you probably know about all of these, why they go missing and how to get them back. But if you're relatively new to Lightroom, this should help you find those things that often go missing. The first thing that often goes missing that I often get emails from people is the information. There's three lines of information that will show up in the top left-hand corner of the image. And by default, that is on. But sometimes it just mysteriously disappears and people email me asking where it went. Well, simply hit the I key on your keyboard, I for information. If you hit it once, you'll get three lines of information that have to do with the image resolution and the date and time the image was taken and also the image name. If you hit the I key again, you'll get exposure information and the lens and focal length used. Hit the I key a third time and everything disappears. So that I key will toggle all that information. The second thing that often disappears is what Lightroom or Adobe calls the toolbar. The toolbar is located below the image but above the film strip. And you can see it's missing on mine. Just hit the T key on your keyboard, T for toolbar, and it will appear. Hit the T key again and it will disappear. Now, number three, there's some information on this toolbar. You'll see over here, it has soft proofing, it has some stars, it has the flag status, and then it has different views. A lot of times, this, let's say you often do star ratings, it goes missing or something else appears or and it's a little confusing. Well, you could actually have full control over what is displayed on this toolbar. Simply go to the far right and there's a little triangle that's called an expose triangle. Click on it. And you'll see that the things that are there now have check marks next to them. If I want to add, say, color label to the toolbar, simply click on it. I added the check mark to it, and now it is there as well. Go to that expose triangle, and I could add grid overlay, and you could see that that is added to the toolbar as well. I could remove anything from the toolbar by just clicking on it to remove the check mark. So I could remove the color label remove the grid overlay, and so on. So that was number three, those items in the toolbar. Now, number four, below the toolbar is this little black strip, and it has some information there and some controls, but also it allows you to filter what is in the film strip. So if you only want to see images that have star ratings or that are flagged or something like that, over on the far right-hand side, there are the filters there, but you could see on my computer right now, they're missing. If you want to get them back, simply click on the word filter and you could see that they all returned. And so I could filter whatever is in the film strip. Now, right now I only have four images down there, but if you ever are missing your filters, just click on the word filter and you could make them disappear and appear. Now, the last thing I want to talk about has to do with the tabs. This used to be on older versions of Lightroom, very applicable to the right-hand panel of the develop module, but they've changed Lightroom. So it's not applicable to that panel anymore, but it is applicable to the other panels throughout all of Lightroom, meaning you often are missing tabs. If you look over on the left, I'm in the develop module and I should have a presets tab here and you could see it's missing. To get it back, simply right click on any of the existing tabs and you can see presets are right there. It's missing a check mark. Just click on it and you'll add that check mark. So now the presets are there. Now you may, let's say, never use snapshots and you just want to make it a little less cluttered on this left hand panel. So you could go there and just click on the check mark. So it's off and now you got rid of snapshots. So you really have some control over what is shown on the side panels. Now I mentioned in earlier versions of Lightroom, this was also applicable to the right panel, but they have since changed it. If you right click on the develop modules right panel, you now get 
a customized develop panel dialog box. And there are the check marks. So if, let's say, you never use um, calibration, I could turn that check mark off, click save, and you could see it's gone. If I want to get it back, right click on any of the existing tabs, go back to customize develop setting, and put that check mark on. Also, I could reorder things as well, simply dragging things around if I wanted to reorder anything. Just click save, and you see calibration came back. So those are five things that often go missing in Lightroom and how you get them back. Well, I hope everyone is doing fine uh, during this COVID-19 outbreak pandemic. Um, I really sincerely wish everyone is safe and sound. If you need anything, drop me an email. I'll do what I can to help. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.